Welcome back, Man of Fam. This week, we're exploring testimonies of local outreach from throughout this past year. And today, we're going to explore how manna is living out what we see in Matthew chapter 9, verses 35 through 38, which reads, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. You know that at Mana we are a small groups church. We do everything in the context of small groups. Well, let's hear how our small groups have been having a big impact in local outreach. Hello, Mana Church. My name is Andrew Sutton, and I serve as the site pastor at Mana Church Rayford site. Today, I'm going to speak about the impact of small groups and the impact that they're actually having on our community. Matthew 9, 35 through 38 tells us to pray for workers for the harvest, that the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. But I'm so grateful to say that here at Mana Church, there's so many workers. But how do we capitalize on the burdens placed on each person, on each of the workers? Small groups. At Mana Church, we're not a church with small groups, but a small group church. Weekly, hundreds of people gather around the name of Jesus in small groups. And what if all these groups mobilized and did outreaches? What if these workers went into the harvest field? This is something we've been and are striving to do. In Rayford, one of the consistent places where small groups have engaged in outreaches is at Wickshire Senior Living. As a result of a small group leader, building teams, and then those teams consistently ministering to staff and the residents. There have been hundreds of gospel touches, lasting ministry in the lives of the employees, numerous leaders empowered, and people coming to faith in Jesus. And there are so many stories, but just a quick one from one of the leaders that's having a generational impact. This is what she said. One of the staff was coming back to the Lord and was in the midst of that struggle when we started going. Now she's praying and her and her daughter daily do scriptures together. She listens to worship and gives all the glory to God. See, this is just a glimpse of one story that started because one person said yes. And I believe there's a yes that God has for you as well. Man of church, I'm encouraged by your desire to know God and make him known as you pour out your life. So let's continue to unite in him and make it hard to go to hell from planet Earth.